Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I don't usually do these type of shop with me videos. I like to do most of my shopping online, but as I was running some errands for the wife, I ended up in this really nice area. Um, let me show you guys. I don't know, but all the buildings look fancy. The roads look pretty cool. And I did notice that there was a Barnes and Noble. Whoops, this car is backing up. There we go. There's a Barnes and Noble over there. Also looks a little bit different than the usual Barnes and Nobles. I figured I'd go in there, see what they have, and if there's anything that I'm interested in picking up, uh, maybe I'll pick up one or two volumes. So let's head in there. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, and the area that I'm at, it's called South Lake. It's pretty close to Grapevine, which I know the Dark Sage does a lot of shopping in Grapevine. But yeah, let's go check it out. Almost there. Oh, there's a Hilton over there too. Okay. Some restaurant, Brio Tuscan Grill. Too fancy for me. I came in the wrong way. Let's look at the Criterion Blu-rays here. All right, so here's the Criterion collection they have here. It looks pretty like a nice display here. For those of you who don't know the Criterion collection, they usually like to remaster what they consider to be classics. And I like some of the stuff they have. So I always like to come browse this section, see if I find anything that I like. So what do we got here? like a lot of the older classics here to be honest I still haven't dipped my feet too much in classic cinema too much Barry Lyndon I have seen this one it's pretty good I do own this one it is a film by Stanley Kubrick and behind the shining the clockwork orange and 2001 a space odyssey I definitely do prefer those over the this one here but still a great flick Oh, I do have this one. I've been wanting to watch this one for a while. This is by Kira Kurosawa. Uh, he is the guy behind Seven Samurai, which not just the anime, he actually made a film and which I think the anime is based off of, but he makes great cinema, especially he's kind of like into the whole samurai type films, which, which yeah, I definitely still need to check these out as well as Seven Samurai out. What else do we got here? deep cover i actually do want to check this one out i've heard good things about this one and menace to society i actually grew up watching this one well, interesting that it's here in the criterion collection I need to pick this one up during the next criterion cell they usually do have two big criterion cells every year where these are half off so you will be able to pick this one up for 25 bucks i think those usually happen one happened recently it was like a one day sale and there's also one that happens in november if i'm not mistaken I don't remember where the other one happens, but I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for that one. Okay, the end of this Criterion wall. I think that's it too, since there's no sale right now. There's not really any reason to pick these up, in my opinion. So we won't look at more. They do have another area over here full of Criterion, actually more towards that side. but. We won't take a look at those. Maybe later I can do a shop with me when I actually come and pick some up during the during their sales. But yeah, they have some great additions. I do really love the way they look. And like the Aniplex, they actually use the clear emery cases, which I'm kind of a fan of. So yeah, I always do really enjoy these additions here. But let's go to the manga now. I think I need to go upstairs for the manga. Big fancy. View what this store looks like. And where's the manga? All right, I think they're over here. Got some graphic novels here. Don't want to get into that. 
But yeah, here we have all of the, oh, I guess right there, that's labeled incorrectly. We got manga starting here, all the way till the end over there. So let's see what we got here. After the Rain, Comic a Kill. I do need some of these. I'm trying to pick this one up. Kira, Reed Family, loves that. Oh, and we got Alice in Border. I actually don't have this one ordered on right stuff. Heard some pretty good things about the Netflix series. How much is this? $19.99? I don't know. I'll think about picking this one up. Is this? The Alchemist Who Survived? Haven't heard anything about this one. I don't know. I'll put it back. We've got Alice in Murderland. From what I've heard, some of these are hard to pick up. Maybe one of the earlier volumes, not so much these. Ancient Maze Bride. Some more of that. Animal Crossing, the manga, for those of you who, who like the video game never played them. All right, I don't want to go through all of them because there's quite a bit to go through, so I'll just kind of skim through some of these. Asadora, like that. Assassination Classroom. I want to pick up the box set for that one. Oh, there's even an Assassin's Creed manga. All right, the only one I played was two, I believe, and I do like that. Then we got some Attack on Titan. Love these Colossal Editions. What's this? Oh, the guide. Okay. Oh, we've got the Jaw Titan right here. Last episode of Attack on Titan. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of Falco's uh, Jaw Titan? I thought he was looked pretty cool. Probably the coolest looking Jaw Titan. Uh, we got the box sets, the omnibuses. I do like these. If I hadn't gone the uh, Colossal Edition route, I probably would have picked these up. I like the embossed covers here. Then just the singles. Bunch of the singles. Bakemonogatari, Alita Battle Angels, Beastars. This is one that I was gonna stake with anime only, but I don't know, I keep hearing good things and I kind of do want to pick this one up. Uh, there already, there's already 16 vol 17 volumes though. Got some of these right here, Beauty and the Feast. Didn't hear good things about that one. And Berserk, everyone's favorite. Some more Berserk. Black Butler, some more Black Butler up there, Blade of the Immortal, right stuff be holding all of my pre-orders, they still haven't shipped me that one, Blood on the Track, Shuzo Oshimi, must pick up, everyone should pick up all of Shuzo Oshimi's works, uh, Bloom Into You, Blue Exorcist, I am actually picking this one up slowly, I put an order on right stuff for like three or five volumes every time I see those on sale. Got some more here, Blue Giant, Blue Flag, heard good things about those. Blue Period, all of these blue ones have heard good things about them. Uh, my wife actually has been watching this anime and she does like it, but I don't know if I'll be picking up the manga myself. Boruto, I think I'm up to date on that one. Boy Run the Riot, has anyone read this? What is this even about? You guys enjoying this one? I don't know, let me know. Uh, Code Break Breaker? Um, HBL manga is right about these. The covers are horrendous. They're just too plain, to be honest. Just look at it compared to everything else on the shelf here. Definitely the most bland spines here. Rest are my favorite thing in the world. This must be a manga of the Weeb Dad. Uh, sorry, don't mean to call you out. Love your videos. Go check them out. Uh, we got Breath of Flowers. What's this? I haven't heard of this one either. A lot of stuff I haven't heard of actually when I haven't heard of this one either. Bride Story, I am picking these up. Is this a new volume? I don't think I have this one. I have to check on right stuff because I'm pretty sure I placed an order on all of those. Uh, Bungo Stray Dogs, Burn the Witch. Damn, if they had volume one of Call of the Night, I would have definitely picked that up. Uh, what else we got here? Chainsaw Man. Love me some Chainsaw Man. What do they say here? Ah, it's just a synopsis here. Some 
more chainsaw man uh, nothing yet that I might pick up other than that um, Alice in Borderland got citrus here were all the C's moving into the D's so overall it looks like it's arranged pretty good Then we got like almost three full shells here of Demon Slayer. I like the fact that they show off Mitsuri here, my girl right there. Volume 14, love that cover. But let's skip through all of that. We'll head over here. Uh, Don't toy with me, Ms. Naruto. Love that series. Look at how beautiful these look on the shelf. I like how they actually look with like multiples of each volume. Looks pretty cool. But I am up to date with that. We got Dragon Ball, Viz Biggs, and Dragon Ball Super. Oh, this guy right here. How much is this? $19.99. Dragon Quest, The Adventures of Dai. You know, if I see nothing else, I may just pick up this because Prof Otaku liked it, HVL Manga liked it, and I think it's from the same mangaka as Dragon Ball. Story by Riku Sanjo. Nope, looks like I'm totally wrong on that, but yeah, I might pick this one up for sure. To at least pick one thing up from here. Drifting Classrooms, Dr. Stone. I might start this one eventually too, but I'm waiting to see if they'll make a box set. Some more Dr. Stone, Eating Zero. The Elder Sister Lake 1, they have Volume 4. I sold these off, but I kind of want to pick this one up just... Love her character design, she looks great. What else we got here? Some fairy tale, fire force, Fist of the North Star, and Freer. This is another one that I've been hearing good things about. I don't know. I think I'd rather pick up that um, Dragon Quest manga though from here. This looks new, I haven't heard of this one. Red Fog, from the Red Fog. Artwork looks pretty nice. Yeah, inside looks nice as well. Interesting, has anyone heard of this one? What's this one about? Oh, for I really do love these editions, but it looks like all of these have a little bit of damage up top. Full Metal Panic, or sorry, Alchemist, Gangsta, Gigant. I am up to date with that one. Girl from the other side, this will be getting a box set soon. Glepnir, Goblin Slayer, Goodnight Poon Poon, High Q. We got a lot of High Q, but I think I'm good with the anime for High Q. There's too many volumes. Damn, up to 43 volumes. That's crazy. 45. Oh, this is another one that it looks pretty cool. I like the covers on this one. That's Paradise, Hellscene. High School DxD right there. They just got one volume. Looks like that's some peak fiction right there. How healthy are the dumbbells you love? Everyone needs to read this. Hunter Hunter. You guys know how I feel about Hunter Hunter. And they got quite a bit of Hunter x Hunter, actually. Uh, from what I've heard, there will be a reprint of those. So if you guys are missing any, just wait it out. There should be more coming soon. And yeah. Up here, we're moving into some JoJo's. Man, one of these days, I might end up picking up parts one through three. Right now, I only have four through five, which is what I plan to, to only pick up for now. But beautiful additions. Jujutsu Kaisen. Have any of you guys seen the new movie? What do you guys think about the movie? I thought it was just average. If you guys want a review on that, let me know. Maybe I'll do one. Kaiju number eight, waiting for volume two. Ooh, Kakaguri. I just saw season one and I actually really liked it. 
Uh, this is Kakeguri Twin. I don't know. I think this is a prequel or a sequel. Not too sure, but this cover looks amazing. I love the way her eyes look. And from what I know, I think these do do the whole alternating black and white spine. So maybe I'll add these to my collection one day. Oh, they got Kiruru Kill Me Volume 2. I need this one. I'm pretty sure I have it on order though, right? Stuff again is just holding all of my orders hostage. Uh, Komi can't communicate. Zelda. Some more Zelda down there. I love Zelda. I may pick up this one day too. Lone Wolf and Cub. Um, these are also being reprinted, I believe. Theater, Mashal. Actually, I stopped this picking these up, but uh, I might need to go back and pick these up because I keep hearing it's like Harry Potter, and I love Harry Potter, so I don't know why I decided to stop picking these up. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Mobusu Gundam Thunderbolt, Manga Sloth loves that one. Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't have this one. Monster Wrestling. I think uh, one of my members, Alex, he's been reading this one. He says it's pretty good, but I don't see volume one or two. Maybe I'll pick those up on right stuff. Murcielago. We're going into some My Hero. Of course, they gotta show volume. What volume is this? 25? love this one although this one's also really nice those two definitely my favorites of the series got some naruto wow very little naruto that's that's weird night school what is this i don't know what that is Number six, number five, No Guns Life, Noragami. Okay. Very little One Piece, too. One Punch Man. Orient. Oh, this one looks nice. Look at this hardcover. I love the spine. This red foil looks really good. But. All of these have some damage here on the tops and bottoms, mostly on the top. All right, what else we got? Paradise Kiss, Parasite. Yeah, not seeing much that I want to pick up, honestly. Uh, Thunderer Volume 2. Apparently Volume 1 is coming back in stock, which I bought it on Amazon for a little over retail, so maybe I should have waited on that one. Um, but still got it, it's fine. We got a lot of Pokemon. <clears throat> I love these collector's editions. Love Tight Slosion. They need to make one with one of these with Gengar on the cover. I don't think I've seen Gengar represented on any of these yet. Promised Neverland, looks like they got a lot of those. Ooh, the quintessential quintuplets. One, two, three, four, five, and then they're skipping a lot of them in the middle. 10, 12, 13, 14. Almost have all of them. Radiant. I don't think I have volume six. Yeah, I only have up to volume five for this one. Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Love the anime for this one. Rent a girlfriend. Apparently, something happened in the series recently. Did it finally start to get good? Let me know. Rent a really shy girlfriend. Oh, Robo Sapiens, another one that Prof Otaku has been talking about. Let's take a look at the artwork inside. Apparently, this won some awards. 
interesting. How much is this? $19.99, same as the Dragon Quest. I think I'd prefer to get Dragon Quest. Sailor Moon editions, Think Young Man, Sayonara Football, Shelves to Go. Oh, they started to do these uh, omnibuses, which I'm gonna lie, they do look nice on the shelf too. You know, HBL said that they connect pretty good, and yeah, I'd agree, they do connect pretty good i mean they're they're the same ones here but you can see that they do connect pretty good at least compared to the singles which yeah right here you can see a little bit of shifting all right shaman king should we a goldfish you know i've always wanted to pick this one up it just looks really really interesting a city that gets attacked by flying fish which just sounds crazy and fun Peter, I am missing volume six, I think. They haven't shipped that one to me out either. I do have volume five. Yeah, I got that one in recently. Bye, family. Oh, it's time to get zero. So let's see how these look in person. Okay, that one looks all right. This volume three, I do like though. I have to see how the, the one I have on order from Right Stuff looks. They haven't shipped that out to me, so maybe I like this cover more. We'll see. high what is this okay yeah that looks like a bl or something I'm not gonna pick that up saga of tanya the evil my man nike tech loves this series uh they have some beautiful covers i'm gonna lie but it's only volume 15 here I need to pick up the from the beginning time stop hero another one that looks interesting i'm always interested in stuff with manipulating time we got volumes one and two how much are these 12.99 nah oh triage x i love these covers they they have some of the best covers in my opinion at least from yen press beautiful cover there beautiful spines as well still waiting on this one as well from right stuff Toilet bound Hanaka Kun. Let me take a look at the artwork in here. Okay, pretty good. I keep hearing good things about this one. I might pick this one up eventually too, but not right now. Tokyo Ghoul. Well, we only got one volume of Worlds in Harem, but. Seems like it's in the wrong place, so maybe there's more somewhere else. Oh, yeah, some things are messed up here because we got a triage X down here. things about this one but they have amazing covers we never learn i'm reading that one right now loving it so far actually we never learn which in the beast another one that i'm really enjoying i only have i think i know i think i have volume two too but i don't have volume three i'm gonna read the first two first though Ooh, 
I saw these and they, the covers on these look pretty good. But I'll stick with anime only for this one. I love the anime. I don't think there's any need to pick up the manga. It looks like Your Turn to Die Volume 2 came out. I dropped that one. Didn't really enjoy it. This one I do enjoy. You're not a haunted hot spring, but I am up to date with that. And Zom 100. And it looks like we have a whole dedicated Junji Ito shelf right here. And that's it for manga. All the rest of this stuff is all light novels. So yeah, didn't see too much that I'm gonna pick up, but, but I'll go ahead and pick up at least one thing and I'll meet you guys back at the car and I'll show you guys what I picked up. This is a really strange place to put manga. They're kind of hidden here. Plus all the sunlight is hitting them. So they, should, they probably have some yellowing, which yeah, look at this. This has a little bit of yellowing, at least compared to manga over there but all right I'll give you guys one final pen here's all the manga oh wait one more thing i saw this before i went into these shelves and what do you guys think about this the walking cat that's definitely on play on words with the walking dead so that that honestly caught my attention a cat's eye view of the zombie apocalypse if any of you guys have read this let me know but this this looks really cool so yeah Catch you guys in the car. Whew. All right, so that took a while, longer than I thought. I was in there for a little under an hour, almost an hour, but yeah. I picked up one thing, I got a bag right here. I'll show you guys what I got. What do you guys think I got? Can you guys guess before I guys show you? In the comments down below, guess what I got before I show you guys. But yeah, I'll go ahead and show you right now. What I got is Steins Gate Zero. So I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive Steins Gate Zero. I did go online, I checked the cover for volume three that I had on Right Stuff. I like this one better, so, so I went ahead and picked this up instead of the other one. I will cancel that order. And yeah, I'm happy with this. Prefer to get something exclusive rather than that Dragon Quest. So I will pick up Dragon Quest on Right Stuff when I see it on sale. But that's it for the haul. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, if you guys want to see more of these, I can go to like a books Kino Kuniya, pick up some Japanese manga, stuff like that. But I honestly had fun doing this. I did get a little bit nervous. Sometimes there were people walking around and I kind of lowered my voice. I don't know if you guys could tell in the video, but it was still fun. Um, Kino, books Kino Kuniya though, I don't know if I'll talk there. I'll probably do a voiceover because that is always packed. Um, but all right, I'll catch you guys later. If you guys want to see some more manga related content, check out these videos over here to the right. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one.